Hello everybody, it is the week of the 14th to the 20th, and we're going to see what sold. Alright, so let me just get recording here, and there we go. Okay, alright, up first is this... Um, this kind of, well, what would you call this jacket? It's like a marching band jacket. Um, at least that style it's reminded me of. Um, anyway, this is an anthropology jacket. It sold, let me just bring up the Poshmark app down here. Okay, here we go. It sold for $24, and that puts our Posh. Um, I really, I wasn't prepared at all. Horrible, horrible, horrible start. Uh, let's see. Hor there we go. Horrible start, but it was a pretty good week. All right, so our posh earnings on that were $17.08. Uh, now, this did come from a thread up box, I think. Um, yeah, I believe this was a thread up box, so it would be around $2. Uh, so we made a total of $15 off this. All right, up next is this Urban Outfitters Ruffle Dress. Uh, now, this came from a recent big box. Um, so it was, 60, it was $600 for the whole box, and it had a little more than 100 items in it. So that puts it at around $6 for this item. And we got a posh earnings of $24 on it. So... We made 18 bucks off this. All right, up next is this Lululemon Racerback. Extra long black um, tank top. Um, so this actually comes from a Fashion Without Trashion box that will be going out next week. So um, if, you, uh, if you watch, tune in next week, uh, tune in. You don't tune in on YouTube. Whatever you do, if you click links next week, you might get to see this one get unboxed. Um, anyway, this, as with everything in that box, was about $6 for the item. Um, we had a posh earnings of just a little over $25, so we made about 19 bucks off this. And being that it was a, it was a pretty fast turnaround on that, so very, very happy about that one. All right, up next is this Tahari um, Fit and Flare dress. Now this, um, I don't remember where this came from originally. I think it was out of a big box, but I don't know for sure. Um, might have been, it might have been a reseller box, which would put its price considerably higher than if it was a big box. Well, also a reseller box. Um, anyway, the posh earnings on it are $24. We'll say it cost us around $10 bucks, um, because I, that's right in the middle. Um, so we made $14 off this. All right. Up next, we have a bundle. or a. Um, so we took a bunch of my son's old onesies. Um, some of them, I think all of these were stuff that he... Uh, outgrew before we even got to put them in them um, just because of uh, seasons and you know that sort of thing anyway uh, this was a big bundle of mostly Oshpash Vagash um, I believe it was 15 pieces yeah it says right there on the screen 15 pieces um, so most of these were gifts and stuff that he never got a chance to wear um, and yeah so just pure earnings on this um, $17 off this. All right, up next we have a another bundle, only this is an actual bundle. So this bundle um, was these Fry um, boots and the next item, which is a anthropology jacket. It's kind of like that first jacket we looked at, um, just brown. Um, anyway, the whole bundle um, the whole bundle sold for, um, let's see, the whole bundle sold for $80. Um, we had a net, 
Tosh earnings of $64. Uh, so the boots, I believe, were from a reseller box. Uh, the jacket, I think, was out of was also out of a reseller box. Um, so, although, no, no, that was out of a, uh, that was from a thread up box. So we spent about $8. Um, uh, no, the boots were from a, we probably spent maybe $20 on these two items combined. Um, so with $64 posh earnings, that gives us a t grand total of $44 in profit off this. Um, so. Moving right along, we have this pink dress. And let me get a better picture than that one. There. That's the one that's been touched up. Um, yeah, sometimes with that white background, you can't see things. Um, anyway, uh, this J. Crew one shoulder ruffle dress um, was out of a. This was out of a. Uh, what was this out of? I think this was out of a consignment store box. Um, it might have been a reseller box. Um, I know, I'm trying to think as to where I found it in the inventory. You know, I really can't remember, so we'll just once again put the uh, put the cost at $10. Um, with the posturings of, four, of $24, that gives us a grand profit of $14, which isn't particularly grand, but it's not bad. Okay, up next is a piece that we actually, um, uh, let's see, yeah. So everything after this, um, I believe, maybe even that last ruffle dress, this, these are all weekend sales now. So this first piece, um, we sold for full price to um, someone we know. So we were kind of surprised that someone wanted to pay full price because on the day we sold this, we were actually were running a 50% off everything sale um, to celebrate my wife's birthday. Um, so that was Friday. Um, this um, sold to someone we know, so you know who you are. And um, if uh, if you're watching this video, you might be getting a uh, you might be getting a present in a couple days. So um, just uh, just um, just, uh, just um, keep that in mind. All right. Anyway, this sold for $50, giving us a total earnings of $40. Um, and this came from a, this was a thread up box. Oh, wait, no, no, no. This was a reseller box. It was a reseller big box, big box. Uh, six, spent $6 on this, um, $40 in posh earnings. That gives us $34 in earnings off this. All right, up next we have this um, Komoto. Um, now this actually sold and then the order got canceled and then it sold again. So um, I'm really not sure what happened. Uh, it might've been, um, might have been um, something my wife did to, um, out of like a pricing thing or something. Um, maybe we were giving them a deal. Um, anyway, uh, it sold for $40, um, giving us a posh earnings of $32. And since it's out of one of the big boxes, that gives us a profit of $26. All right, up next are these anthropology trousers. Um, and these were from a reseller box. Uh, so those reseller boxes typically they typically cost around $40. They have about five items in them. Um, so it's about $8, um, maybe maybe 10 if it was a um, more expensive one. Uh, we'll go with eight because that gives us just a little bit more profit, um, makes me feel a little bit better. Um, anyway, they sold for $20, giving us a posture earnings of $16, which gives us a total profit of $8. All right, and now we have this J. Crew um, pullover um, sweater. Now this came from a big a reseller big box, um, so it cost us around six dollars. We sold it for twenty eight, and it gave us a posh earnings of twenty two dollars and forty cents. So once you take the six away, that leaves us with. 
20, or uh, it leaves us with $16.40. Ugh, my brain almost failed to do math. Okay, up next is this J. Crew wide leg pant. Wide leg pant. That ought to say wide leg pants. Because these are two pants, not just one pant. Um, these, these, these errors are just going to sink our business. Anyway, this was out of that same um, big uh, reseller box. So actually, this one and I believe the next item are all out of a box that I have yet to um, yet to make a video on. So I'm gonna have to include them in um, little pictures because they sold. Um, anyway, these sold for forty dollars, which gives us the posh earnings of thirty-two dollars, which gives us the twenty-six dollars in profit. Oh, whoops. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Um, there we go. Eh. Clicked on the wrong thing. Um, so up next is this, uh, this watercolor v-neck uh, kind of flight dress, I guess. I mean, it has, the arms are connected to the bottom. So if you sp like spread your arms out, you kind of make wings. Um, yeah, so I really don't know if you call that a dress or if you call it something else. Anyway, it sold for $25, giving us a posh earnings of $20, giving us a total profit of $14. All right. And this actually is from um, that Fash Without Trash in Big Box that will be um, premiering next week. So um, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday are going to be all all the videos. We're going to get through all that in one week. And then after that, um, yeah, after that, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to have on the docket next. Um, yeah, I don't think I have anything else to uh, to film. But I have been making some. Um, I guess I could go back and record some of the boxes that I had an opportunity had had shot but hadn't done videos on um yeah I, I got behind on making videos i'll catch up <laughs> okay up next is this lovers and friends madison i rise skinny jeans um these these came from a reseller box um they were so that puts them probably at about ten dollars in cost um, selling for $30 with uh, $24 in posh earnings, that gives us $14 in profit. And last but not least are, oh wait, I actually have to look at what they sold for. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> are these Loft Petite Modern Skinny Ankle Raw Hem Jeans. That's a, that's a mouthful. We'll just call them some loft jeans. Um, anyway, they are from that same, same, um, box that I hadn't recorded a video. So I'm going to have to make sure to put the little informative picture when I shoot that. Um, anyway, these sold for $30 and, um, that gives us a posh earnings of $24, which like everything else, that's $24 gives us a profit of six. $18. Hmm. Have I been doing the math wrong? No, 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 no. No, no. Was I? You can go back and check, and you can leave a comment on it. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a comment saying, I like this video. And then you can click all the like and the subscribe and all those buttons down there. You know how to, you know how to use YouTube. I don't have to tell you. All right. So, it was a pretty good week. Um, we got a lot of sales. Um, I know that this month, uh, my wife was going over some of the numbers with me and she said that already this month we've made as much as we normally make in a month um, already. And we still have two weeks left. Um, so we're, we're doing pretty good this month. Um, 
maybe we'll maybe we'll break our personal best month and um yeah keep just keep growing from there um you know we really uh took us a little bit to bounce back from uh, the christmas lull um around new year's when people just don't buy but we seem to be shooting back um pretty fast so let's hope that trend keeps going all right until next time i've been charles and i'll see you